When Stephen Poloz took the job as Canada's top central banker, he was optimistic about where the economy was going. Now, not so much. Poloz had a change of message today. Howard Gould reports. It's a big shift. A month ago, the governor of the Bank of Canada was optimistic, expecting exports to boost the Canadian economy. We're seeing improvements in foreign demand, that's for sure. Today, he backtracked big time. <clears throat> Uncertain global and domestic economic conditions are delaying the pickup in exports and business investment. The bank, Canada's most important forecaster, is now downgrading its outlook for the Canadian economy, calling for mediocre growth this year, just 1.6%, while lowering expectations for next year and the year after that. And the bank is no longer warning borrowers that its key interest rate is headed higher. The bank says it could even go lower if things get worse. I think Bank Canada is essentially thrown in the towel. Economist David Madani says it now appears interest rates in Canada are locked at extraordinarily low levels for the foreseeable future. What is clear today is there is absolutely no chance that rates are going to go up anytime soon. Anytime soon means? This year, next year. It isn't clear when or if the U.S. economy will ride to Canada's rescue. Even exporters that are expanding, like this interior design and manufacturing firm, say the U.S. economy doesn't look solid. I think the reason we're doing well is because we provide new technology and a new way of doing things. Anytime there's economic uncertainty, people are looking for new technology and a new way of doing things. Some experts think the Bank of Canada was being strategically gloomy today, trying to drive down the Canadian dollar to make Canadian exports more attractive. If that was the plan, it worked. The loonie fell by almost a full cent. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.